Why Paddy Pimplet has a deep hatred for immigrants? What's going on with him? Before I show you Betty Pimblet's nasty tweets about immigrants, click the subscribe button if you guys haven't. Also, like this video. So first, I'm gonna show you what Betty Pimblet has retweeted. Sky News reported on an immigrant woman living under horrible living conditions. She's living in a container with her multiple kids in UK. Coming here is just a mental torture. There is a prison. This is wrong. This is wrong. What they're doing to people is wrong. Trust me, it's not the right thing to do. Because how can you be at home and you can't even live like home? Three kids are sleeping in one tiny room. I can show it to you. Me and my baby were sleeping there. This place is just a ridiculous place they could ever offer to anybody. This is a place for animals, not for human beings. Because human beings deserve to be in a home. This is a container. It's where people keep their storage. We are not animals. We are not storage. We are not furniture. We are human. We have life too, you know. So this is pretty sad news about a poor immigrant woman with her kids living in a horrible conditions and somebody retweeted and commented I quote How about fuck off back to your own country you fucking dickhead come here expect everything when I see ex army living on a street don't like it fuck off this is a pretty, pretty nasty tweet. Imagine tweeting stuff like that about an immigrant woman suffering with her kids. So Batty Piblet retweeted that. Yes, he retweeted that horrible comment on that poor woman. This shows you what kind of person Patty Piblet truly is. He cannot feel any sympathy towards that woman and those poor kids because they are immigrants. He doesn't even view them as a human being. Patty Pimblet has also tweeted hateful comments towards immigrants, even his fellow UK fighter. So Patty Pimblet was going back and forth with a UK fighter, Mohamed Mokav. Patty Pimblet tweeted, No, you wear that flag as a fraud. You are not from here, you idiot. Mohamed Mokav responded, You are racist. I represent this country. What are you gonna do about it? Patty Pimple responded, Ha ha ha, how I'm racist. I haven't mentioned race once, you tit. Was you born here? Nope. Then you shouldn't represent this country. That simple. So Patty Pimple is saying that his fellow UK fighter, Mohamed Mokal, cannot represent the UK because he hasn't born in here. So as you guys can see, Patty Pimple has like very hateful view on immigrants. Mohamed Mokai has responded to Betty Pimble's tweets. He tweeted, I quote, I came to UK as a refugee in 2012. This country supported me and I will keep waving UK's flag. Don't matter what this puppet says. This is a horrible look for Patty Pimblet. And with these tweets, he's gonna lose a lot of fans and he's having a huge debut this week in UFC. Many people have already tweeted that they are not supporting Patty Pimplet anymore. A lot of people are immigrants or they have immigrant parents or they know somebody that is immigrant. You know, especially in the United States. It's a land of immigrants. Patty Pimplet has responded to these complaints and you know what he tweeted? He tweeted this, I quote, I'm done with the negativity of the trolls and haters. I won't be responding anymore. This is a big cop out, you know, he hasn't addressed any of these horrible comments towards immigrants and he's saying that I'm done with negativity. You are the negativity, you know, <laughs> you are the bully, but you are acting as a victim. I don't expect anything good from a guy who retweets horrible stuff like this. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. This is not Patty Pimplet's first time tweeting horrible stuff, you know. I have already made a video where he tweeted that Georgians deserve to get attacked by the Russians. Go watch that video if you guys haven't. Maybe he should continue doing this 
and become a heel, like real heel, where people hate his guts. Click the subscribe button if you guys haven't, like this video if you like, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.